Yo, your favorite hair, little bacon bear, hanging out with the one and only for the radio. I'm going to call you Sonny. Is that fine? Uh, that's cool. I know you can't say that, say that uh, word on the radio. That's well, cool. you know, we'll just dive into it head first. Your name is Sonny Drugs. And I want to ask you what your root is and your reasoning for that is. My reason for calling me that? Yeah. Uh, they call me because I got what you need. That's why they call me. I really got that name because I feel I really you. have everything you need. You know what I'm saying? Well, if I, could, if I could uh, challenge you just a little different and just a little bit deeper, you know, you never know who's listening to your music and who's taking that message to use it for and against you and, you know, to influence the next generation. So just something to think about. And that's why I just lean into Sonny. Feel me? Yeah. OK. OK. Yeah, that nah, makes sense. Well, nice to meet you, Sonny. You do seem to have a sunny personality thus far. You got a nice little smile going on. <laughs> Appreciate it. What keeps you so sunny? Uh, I just got uh, I just gotta keep my energy good for where you know everybody. It's, you gotta stay away from suckers. You know? just gotta <laughs> stay away from all sucker activity. Now I definitely feel that, and I can definitely understand that. Um, was Sunny a name that you had coming up? Like, is your is it does it relate to who you are as a person, or is it more just more a stage name? Uh, no, nah, I got. I think they start. I started getting called that like. Prison for a jail for real. Niggas gave me people gave me that name in jail for real. So, like, I, I you know I, I I was low my real name at first. People called me by my real name, but just with a with little in front of it. You know, I ain't I ain't gonna put it on the on the uh, radio. Yeah. Well, tell yeah. me tell me about prison if you if you care to share it all. Uh, what was it like? Man, it, was, it ain't really. It was it was it was ain't really nothing to talk about for real. You know. It's a, it was a time, you know, we, we, I was going through some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I was turned up and burnt out, you know what I'm saying? But I stood ground in there. I was good. It was, you know what I'm saying? I was great in there. Oh, Absolutely. Man, you know what? Keep calling. I guess. You know, no That's the airport, <laughs> no. you know what I ask, you know, because um, I get letters from prison sometimes that people definitely talk to me about how they listen to the radio and how music impacted their life while they was locked up. And I was just curious to, you know, know what your experience was like in that case. Oh, yeah. As far as music in prison, I was the radio. If you know anybody that know me in jail, I was the radio. Like, like anybody tell you that, like, I, I was the radio. I was the person who I used to take everybody out there. I was the voice. I was the singer on the group, on the, on the T, I used to take everybody, like, nigga, nigga, I ain't gonna lined up all the way across the unit, listening to me all day, you know what I'm saying? Like, real live, the radio, human radio. Like, I, I just seen people get beat up, you know, fights, you know, about behind, behind me rapping, like, no cap. I was I was up the road, and a nigga had, had said something while I, was, while I was rapping, and the other dude couldn't hear me, and... He, he he got mad. He said something to him. They had words and things, and when they left out the cell, they fought. You know I me mean? over that. They, they fought rapping. trying to hear your song. Yeah, no, nah, they love me. They used to love me in the, in the prison. I ain't gonna lie. I was real loud. Like they, they they used to call me Lord Rich Holmes. Lord Lord Rich Homie Quan. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Rich Homie Quan. That's quite the title. What I mean, yeah. that's honestly that's kind of really powerful you know just to know that your voice really has that impact and that reach now that you're home how do you intend to use that for good and, and for different and how do you intend also to give back to those people that are still behind those walls uh i'm doing a lot of stuff like you see i got the vocal water shirt on so like i'm just doing stuff way different like we got black on water company that we, we we got going on my, my parents got a uh, uh a kind of business they I helped them out with uh, called Fragrance of Life. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing the racket stuff. I'm everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't really, I, I tell my young, my young and homies and stuff like, you know what I'm saying? I try to tighten them up on certain things because I know how it be when you're young and like just lit. You want to be part of everything. So, you know, I just, I, t I talk to people and I, and I try to show them it's different stuff you can do. Like, you see, I'm, I'm representing my, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm always out here fair vocal. I'm out here selling water every day i'm trying to bring, i was hope i wish we could have came i was trying to bring y'all some water man y'all love it fast i know Sam, he keep calling tell him he be outside texas city outside focus 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 we're on the radio with it but yeah, uh, as far as like you know just keeping focus what keeps you humble and what keeps you motivated uh things that keep me focused and keep me humble and motivated 
is money. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, and the people like I just I ain't gonna lie. I love getting money. So like it's different now. So now I I done made a lot of money now in my life now. So that's the only thing I think about now is just getting money every day. Just think about getting money. This music, the music, it. I be bluffing for real because I was been supposed to start rapping. Everybody that know me from prison been on my my line about it. So like now I feel like I I can do it now though because I, I I it was just like it costs money to go to the studio, costs money to shoot videos, mm-hmm. costs money to do everything. Now I got money to do it, so I'm pushing it. So you know what I'm saying I'm a little more motivated and I I'm getting a little buzz. People I go everywhere I go through the city. Everybody yeah, but I hear you, I hear you, I see you. You know what I'm saying so. That boy well, made me a lot too. I, I love those things. I think the people definitely motivate me too. But in, in your case, you definitely had a strong following of people that called night for night and really delivered for you and really showed out for you. So what was it like hearing yourself on the radio and hearing those wins come in? Yeah, nah, that was beautiful right there, man. I shout out my people, my folks, all, all the people out there that real showed out love, man. They, y'all did that, man. I ain't going to lie. I, I ain't going to lie. That, that was beautiful right there. I, it, it was beautiful. Even more beautiful. I was out LA when I won the last day. I won. I was out LA, and 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 I was out LA with my homies out LA. And they was even calling. They was calling from LA. You know what I'm saying? All the way. We was tuned in on the on the uh on that website. You know what I'm saying? Man, they was calling from LA and all that. So that was even beautiful. My man got through on LA. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I love that for them, and I love that for you. You know. What did this um what advice would you offer to an artist that may not have that kind of support or might be struggling for that support or just feeling like they don't have the support that they need to take them to the next level? Man, it's it's that's how I felt too. Like when I first that's what was another reason that I ain't really push it. Like I feel like people was supporting me like I wanted them to. So, so like it's it's just like just you want I feel like after I performed that bliss, all my people saying that I was serious, you know what I'm saying? So it's like this kid, you gotta show your people that you're serious. When they see that you ain't playing, like they see you really serious about what you what you trying to do, because that bliss performance cost me a lot of money. Oh, so, I, I, I definitely did, see I've seen a couple it. of them bliss performances and there's a lot of talent on that stage, but there's a, there's some there's some bullshit up there too. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, for sure. But but yeah, after they seen me, they 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 knew I was serious, so they start like, oh yeah, Charlie's serious. I mean. You know what I'm saying? Like even my, I had my homies even after that day was calling me like saying to me like like yeah, bro, you gotta be sick. Like you when next time you go in the studio, like my, my homies that ain't never cared about me rapping. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never asked me about no rapping stuff. Yeah. They asking, yeah, when you going to the studio now? They now they on my line. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just just keep pushing, man. And they gonna see it when they see that you serious. They gonna be on your line. They gonna they gonna start messing with you, man. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I feel you. Um, are you open to collaborations? Are you working on a project right now? Because I always ask people if they're willing to connect with other artists in the area. Yeah, I got um, I got a project that's coming together uh, right now. I'm about to drop a little EP. And then me and my little homie Yodi, we got we got a tape called Stephen Clay coming out. But we both want to drop EPs first, like pre, pre-game joints before, the, before Stephen Clay come out. But yeah, it's, I got a lot of stuff I'm working on. I got a hundred songs though, so it's it's like I, I I'm ready for real. I'm just about to start pushing it. I ain't really got no uh, features with no local artists yet, real other than O Dog. Ah, do you dying, nigga? <laughs> yeah, other than O Dog, I ain't. That's my man. I love O Dog. That's my homie. My, he so I have not. Up. I haven't met O Dog yet, but. Anytime that I'm up off the late night on Twitter, he's on the on the late night on Twitter too. So that's the only place we've connected. And I think we just need the link now at this point. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he 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 that nah he it's crazy. Uh, uh, that's crazy. Now nah, you got hard I don't know why he ain't got no interview on his man yet. We working on it, we working on it. But see, let this be a stamp. Now he's gonna see this and he's gonna be like, Becky, you gotta give me that. Yeah, nah, he 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 definitely yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make that call and tell him stop playing so much, man. He's what a big guy up on the video. Well, pass the torch on a win then. Um, where can we check in with you? Where can we support your music? Where can we support you? Tell you congratulations for this win and everything else. Um, yeah, come on. I'm on Instagram at RDG Sun underscore RDG Sun. Uh, I'm on everywhere. Uh, all Apple Music, all my music on everything, YouTube, everywhere, man. Just go check in, man. My Sunny Drugs is my rap name. So, you know what I'm saying? RDG Sunny, that's my Instagram. Twitter's. I got a Twitter, but I just made it. I don't really even know that name. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't no tweeter. I ain't never been that type of guy. 
That's okay. No worries. Well, we got you on Instagram and DMV. If you're looking for him, you can check out this full interview on my Instagram story at little bacon bear and at little bacon bear.com. And do, 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 do. those are my horns. You can introduce huh. your record to the DMV, Sonny. I, uh, what you say? I didn't hear you say. You just introduce yourself and your record. Oh, yeah. That, my name's Sonny Drugs, man. And my record, uh, got what you need. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tune in. Done. Well done. Uh-huh, honey. <laughs>